Family Theater presents Vanessa Brown, Regis Toomey, and Richard Denning. Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents Vanessa Brown and Richard Denning in Lock and Bar. To introduce the drama, your host, Regis Toomey. Thank you, Gene Baker. Family Theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we are to win peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family Theater urges you to pray. Pray together as a family. We're told it is the dream of every girl to be swept off her feet and carried away by a brave knight on a powerful white charger. Down through the ages, the storytellers and balladeers have told of the heroes who fought and sometimes died for the one they love. They tell of the wonders of Ulysses and Hercules, of Roland and Beowulf, of Lancelot, and perhaps the most beloved of them all, Lochinvar. From the wondrous pen of Sir Walter Scott has come this poem of a highland youth who came out of the West to win the fair Ellen of Netherby clan. For Lochinvar has grown into a legend of daring and chivalry, and he has come to stand as a symbol for the man who can fight for and win the girl of his heart. The reign of the ill-fated Mary, Queen of Scotland, was marked by violent intrigue and internal strife. Queen Elizabeth of England was casting a greedy eye on the green hills and rugged coasts of this proud country. Scotland's only protection lay in the courage of her people and their love of freedom. But the beauty of spring among the flowering hills can drive even the worst thoughts from a youth returning to his homeland. It's good to be home. Ah, there's nothing quite like spring in the highlands, eh, Dancer? In a moment, we'll be seeing the river breaking through the trees. Did you hear that, Dancer? It came from that clump of trees, I think. Run, boy. Run. Don't, guy. Please don't. One more kiss, Ellen. Only one more. No. I'll scream again. <laughs> And who do you expect to hear you? The fish in the river? I'm near fish, but I have a good pair of ears on the hilt of my broadsword for you, my friend. You, you, you coward! You hit him and... Lucky. Aye, aye. Lucky. You've come back. Aye, and just in time from the look of things. Just in time to ruin everything. But he was trying to kiss you. And why shouldn't he? We're to be married in just a few more days. You kind of mean this this Englishman is the man you're going to marry. He's not just an Englishman. He's an emissary of the Queen. I always thought you'd lose your heart to a Highlander. I almost did once. But... That was enough. But, Ellen, I've explained all that before. I couldn't have helped myself. You broke my heart, Lucky. I'll not forgive you for that. If you only knew the whole story, lass, I'm, I'm sure you'd forgive me. My whole clan knows the story of how you left me the very day of our wedding. I tried to explain. My father says you've disgraced the clan. And if he ever sees you again, he'll kill you. And you, Ellen, do you want me killed too? I do not care anymore, Lucky. I do not care. If you're planning to marry this Englishman, why were you objecting so strongly to his kissing? 
I'll kiss him when the time comes. And I'll be there to see you do it. You'll not be there. We're having the wedding in our own kirk. On the whole Netherby clan will be there. I promise you, Ellen, that I'll be at your wedding. Only I'm hoping that it'll be me you'll be marrying. You? You've had your chance, Loch Invar Mackay. And if I were you, I'd go back to your important mission in London town before my father sees you. If he doesn't see, kill you, Sir Guy will. That Englishman? <laughs> he doesn't look very dangerous to me. <laughs> look at him lying there. Such a peaceful expression. <laughs> oh, if I had a sword, I'd... I'd uh... Uh, would a dirt be all right? I'm afraid my sword is a wee bit too heavy for such a bonny lass. Maybe it's heavy enough to drown you. You, 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 you better get your fill of Netherby water, Lord Lochinvar, because you'll be drinking no wine at my wedding. Go on, laugh. Have you not been pushed in the Esk River by an angry mare? I suppose not. I wish the bonny lass could have waited for warmer weather, though, before... What's that? If you make one more move toward that sword, you'll have an arrow in your back. If I'm not mistaken, it's my friend from the river, Sir Guy Marlborough. Yes, I see you know my name. If I remember correctly, Sir Guy, we met not so long ago in London town. I do seem to recall such a meeting. I also recall that you were on an errand for your Scottish queen. Are you successful? Only partially, Sir Guy. But I think I can now complete my uh, errand, as you put it. <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. You didn't by any chance follow me here, did you? Follow you, Sir Guy? Oh, now, why would I want to follow you all the way to Scotland? Yes, that is a good question. Why? I don't suppose you're alone. Uh, Frederick? Yes, my lord. You can come out now, but keep those arrows ready. Now, what do you suppose all these Englishmen are doing in Scotland? <laughs> you mean you don't know yet? What a pity. I don't mm. suppose Angus Netherby knows you brought these men with you. What? A trusted representative of the Queen of England bringing armed guards? Oh, wouldn't that be very inhospitable? Yes, the good Lord Angus might think you were intending to uh, take his castle by storm. But you're not, are you, Sir Guy? <laughs> not when it's so much easier just to marry his daughter. Whatever gave you the idea that I wanted his castle? You know as well as I that Elizabeth is planning to invade Scotland, and the logical route is through this valley. And Netherby Castle is full in her path. Yes, I must admit that had occurred to me. Mm, I thought as much when I first saw you here. And now you're planning to marry the daughter of Lord Angus. And how will being married to the Lady Ellen clear away this obstruction? It wouldn't, but it would put you on the inside of the clan. For you, that should be enough. Allow me to congratulate you, Lord Lochinvar. You have brought light where before there was only darkness. And let me assure you, Netherby Castle shall fall. When? When, my lord? <laughs> Why, even now, the foundation is crumbling. Frederick! No! Oh! What about his horse? Leave it. Take the men back to camp. Wouldn't do for them to be seen. Not just yet. <laughs> Dancer, Dancer, they've not harmed you, have they, boy? Uh, come here, boy. I'm sore hurt, boy. Uh, I must have help. Uh, that's it, boy, a little closer. Oh, easy, Dancer. Oh, take me to Netherby Castle. But, Father... I'm sure he didn't come back to make trouble. I didn't care why he came back. The fact is, he's here, and but that's enough. father... That's enough, lass. Tomorrow, I'll gather the clan. We'll comb the highlands till we find him. And when we do, we'll hang him from the nearest tree. Father, I'll not have bloodshed before my wedding. Oh, that must be some guy. Oh, I didn't want to see him. Oh, you'll see him, my bonny lass. <laughs> I've been through this... Lord Lochinvar. I... I'm sorry to disturb you at this time... Oh, Lockie. Oh, 
Whether he's hurt? Hurt or no, I'll know he's the man in my house. But we cannot turn him out. He'll die. And what if he does? It will save me the trouble of hunting him down. Father, I've always done as you've bid me. I'm only going to marry Sir Guy because you want me to. But I'm telling you now that if you want me at the wedding, you'll not turn away this wounded man. Are you still in love with him, lass? After what he did to me? Of course not, father. Oh, but he's hurt. And when did you ever close never be hauled to a wounded man? All right, I'll take him in. Well, he is wounded tended to, but after that, he's to be locked in the dungeons until after the wedding. Now, go call Shan and Roger. Thank you, Father. So, me bucko, you've come back to the Highlands, eh? Now, if you'll just get your carcass out of the way, I'll, I'll close the door. What's the trouble, Lord Angus? It is for Lochinvar. Aye, it's Lochinvar, Lord Lochinvar. But judging from the looks of him, he'll no be making any trouble for some time to come. Here, help me move him out of the doorway, will you? Yes. What, what happened to him? Ah, then again, we found him this way. Probably ran into a band of outlaws. Ah, there's been a lot of them around of late. My clan has lost a great deal of livestock. Cannot understand where they all came from. They probably heard about the wedding and thought you'd be too busy to go chasing thieves. Ah, ah that must be it. Uh, this, uh... Will not change our wedding plans, will it? No. Lord Lochinvar will not interfere with the wedding. That I promise you. Lucky. Lucky. Ellen. Ellen, is it you, lass? Are you all right? Oh, I'll, I'll be all right. It's, it's good as new in a few days. Luckily, the arrow hit a bone and glanced off. Does it hurt very much? Oh, a little, but never mind that. Ellen, you must not marry that Englishman, Sir Guy. And why not, may I ask? Well, I have no proof of it now, but I'm sure Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth plans to invade Scotland. And he's here to help clear the way. Oh. Uh, I'm sure you're wrong. No. No, I saw him several times in London town. He's one of Elizabeth's most trusted men. And what if he is? Why should that stop me from becoming his wife? Oh, but can't you see? He only wants this marriage so he can gain control of the castle. No, I did not believe that. Besides, my father told me I must marry him. Why is Lord Angus so set on this marriage? He says it will cement the relations between England and Scotland. Oh, but it won't. <laughs> Get me out of here, Ellen. I must talk to him. He'll not believe anything you say, Lucky. I know he won't. If I only had some proof. If I... Ellen, can you get me out of here? Why, I, uh, I do not know. If I can escape, I might be able to find out something. Your father will let me rot in here. He said he would let you free after the wedding. But after the wedding may be too late. Can't you find some way to get the key from your father? I suppose I, I could do it. Oh, my bonny lass, I promise you won't forget it. Do you promise not to interfere with the wedding? I promise. Unless I can see that harm will come to Scotland and Queen Mary if I don't interfere. If that will be your only reason... Then I'll do it. I think I can get the key from Father when he sleeps tonight. Helen, I know a better reason for stopping you, Eden. You know I... Please, Lucky. It has taken me a long time to consent to this marriage. Do not make it any more difficult. All right, Helen. But get the key. Perhaps I can stop the marriage without breaking my promise. Ah. Uh... I'll try. You must, Ellen. It's my only hope, and the only hope of Scotland. Lucky. Did you get the key? I. If I can get my arm through here, maybe I... Never mind, I have it. What about the guard? I gave him Wayne. He's sleeping. Oh, good lass. I have your horse waiting outside. Lucky, 
promise you'll be careful. I'll be as careful as I can, Ellen. But I have a plan, and I must follow it. A plan? Sir Guy must have his men camped around here somewhere. I'm going to keep watch, and every time he leaves Netherby Hall, I'll follow him. I'm sure he'll lead me to them. But, Lucky... But... Come, come, we must not be found here. But what if there is such a camp and you do find them? What can you do about it? It would be your words against Sir Guy. Oh, no, Lucky, I'm sure you're wrong about him. He's a good man. I'll say no more until I have proof. Your horse is here. Promise me you'll not return to Kenobi Lee. Father will surely kill you. No, Ellen, that I'll not promise. I've already made a vow to be at your wedding, and by all that's holy, I will be there. Quiet, dancer. They're bringing Sir Guy's horse out. Hey, there he is. And riding off in the dead of night, too. There he goes. Come, boy, before we lose him. We'd better stop here, boy. I'll, I'll go the rest of the way on foot. We should be just beyond these trees and... Ah, look at that. There must be 20 tents there. Unless I miss my guess, the clansmen around here have been missing a lot of cattle lately. I wonder... Sir Guy, if... Frederick, I've been waiting for you. You're late. We've been making plans for my wedding tomorrow. I thought it would never quiet down enough for me to slip away. But it is tomorrow. Tomorrow night. The members of the clan will begin to arrive in the morning. By evening, they should all be there. Good. I've been having trouble keeping the men in hand. I don't think I could hold them much longer. You won't have to. We attack at dawn. Right after the wedding. Why wait until dawn? The wedding should last most of the night. By morning, the guests will be too full of this Scottish brew to care if we burn the castle down around their ears. Will I see you again before we leave? No need for that. You have your men concealed in the woods outside the castle wall at dawn. I'll see that the door to the castle will be open. The woods outside the castle. We'll be there. I must get back now before I missed. I'll leave everything in your hands. I'll see to it, my lord. If you fail, Elizabeth will have your head. Aha, Sir Guy, so you do plan to attack Netherby Hall. I don't think Lord Angus will like it, but he's going to have an uninvited guest for his daughter's wedding tomorrow night. Of course, Sir Guy. What is it, lad? How much longer before we start the wedding ceremony? I'm ready to start any time. I'll go ask Ellen if she's ready. Thank you, Lord Angus. I hope you'll excuse my <laughs> impatience. I understand, laddie. You wait here. I'll not be long. Yes? It's your father, lass. Let me in. Uh, we're waiting for... Why, Lush, you've, you've been crying. I cannot help it, Father. I don't quite understand. Why should you be crying? You should be happy and gay. After all, are you not marrying one of the richest, most powerful men in England? I do not care if he's rich and powerful. I do not love him. Oh, come here, lass. You know that Elizabeth is coveting the Scottish Highlands. Already she has most of the land to the south of us in her power. I know, Father. Oh, I know you didn't want to marry Sir Guy. But, lass, you must think of the good it will do Scotland. Why, with the name of Sir Guy Marber on our side, she wouldn't have dare attack us. But, Father, Lockie says... Lockie? You mean Lord Lochinvar? Oh. Have you seen him? Only for a moment, Father. He told me... So it was you that led him out of the dungeon? Yes, Father, I did. You dared to go against my wishes? I could not let him stay in that filthy dungeon. Now I know that you will marry Sir Guy. I'll give you five minutes to be downstairs. If you're not down by then, I'll come back and drag you down. Is she ready? 
She'll be here within five minutes, I promise you. I hope so. I find these affairs... Ah, there she is. I'm sorry I kept you waiting, Sir Guy. That's quite all right, my dear. I can understand your reticence. I know that we're out in your... Oh, who compound on the... Open the door before he breaks it down. The Mackay clan extends wishes to the Nellardy clan. Lucky! A sword! Give me a sword, someone! Greetings, Lord Angus. What is all this about a sword? I swore that if I ever saw you again, I'd have your head. And someday you probably will. But not now. You forget this is your daughter's wedding. Come ye in peace or in war, my Lord Lochinvar. I come to lead but one measure with the fair Ellen. Is that too much to ask? Yes. I'll not have it. You come, come now, Sir Guy. Jealousy doesn't become you. Lord Angus, I want this man to leave at once. Giving orders already, Sir Guy? Hold your tongue. You may stop for the wedding, but you'll know dance with my daughter. Please, Father, just one dance. Oh, surely you'd not refuse an honored guest. One dance with the bride. Oh, well, all right. One dance and one dance only. Music! Let us have music! Surely, Lord Lachlan. I don't like this, Lord Angus. He's up to something. He'd better not be. He wouldn't have get past the door. It's been a long time since I've held you in my arms, Ellen. I know, Lucky. I know. I wish I had never let you go. This... This could have been our wedding. If you had not let me go. Ellen, I had to. I was on an errand for Queen Mary. What errand could be more important than our wedding? Listen, Ellen, listen closely. Queen Elizabeth is planning to invade the northern province of Scotland. Do you really think she would? Yes, she would. I was sent to London to find out when and where. But the reason I'm here now is because Sir Guy led me here. He's the key to the whole plan. Then you did not come for my wedding. No, Ellen, I did not even know you were going to be married. If what you say about Sir Guy is true... It's true enough, and now I have proof. But you'll have to help me. How? How can I help? First, I must know one thing. Do you still love me? I've... I've never stopped loving you. Will you... Will you come with me tonight? Now. But Father said... Oh, never mind your father. I'm thinking of us. But Father said that if I don't marry Sir Guy... He would cause trouble for Scotland. He will anyway. I think I know how to stop him. But you must come with me now. All right, Lucky. I'll do as you say. My horse is outside the door. I'll dance over that way. And when we're in front of the door, we'll make a break for it. We'll have every clansman here after us. I know we will. In fact, I... danced with my bride long enough, Lord Lochinvar. You're right, Sir Guy. If I had a sword, I'd try to measure with you. Perhaps we can get one of these gentlemen to oblige you with his. Stop it! Stop it, I say! I'll no have bloodshed at my daughter's wedding. Let them fight, Lord Dangis. Aye, give me a broadsword. I'll have done with this traitor. You call me traitor? Lord Angus, ask this poltroon what he was doing in London. I'll tell you, he was trying to betray his country to Elizabeth, but oh, she threw him out. The Queen of England wants peace between our countries. Then why does she have a hundred men camped not ten leagues from here? That's a lie. And you'll pay for it with your life. <laughs> you'll have to be quicker than that, Sir Guy. May I borrow your sword, Lord Angus? Thank you. Uh, now you'll see how a Highlander can fight. Nay, nay, I'll nay have it. Let him fight. Heaven, open the door. <laughs> are, you, are you going to run while you still have your life? I'm going to run as soon as I fight yours. <laughs> He's killed Sir Guy. Stop him, Sam. Run, Lucky. I'll close the door. That should slow them down. But this, this sword will make a good wait. Uh, there. Hurry, Lucky. Easy, Dancer. Now, give me your hand. Hold on now. Run, Dancer, run. See them? Yes, they're gaining. Ah, it isn't much farther. But we're going the wrong way. No, we're not. We turn off here. They'll see us. Not through these trees. But when they miss us, they'll come back. Oh, they'll have better game than us. Look up ahead. Where? Right in a tent. 
But what is a camp doing here? It's the English I told you about. Then it is true. Aye, it's true enough. Wait until that howling mob of Scotsmen at our heels see those English dogs. <laughs> That's a fight I'm going to hate to miss. Quiet now. I never knew father could look so terrible. I'm glad he did not catch us. Oh, he's going to look surprised and just... Listen, listen, they found the English. Do you think father will... No, lass, no. Your father's clan won't have much trouble with them. They were completely surprised. And uh, which way do we go now, my lord? Oh, Melon. This time you can really say goodbye to Canobie Lee. So daring in love and so dauntless in war... There never was a night like young Lochinvar. This is Regis Toomey again. I think all of us have heard the expression, it is better to give than to receive. It means being kind, giving of ourselves and our services to others, performing those little acts of thoughtfulness and consideration that will make life more pleasant for those about us. You know, the unique thing about kindness is that it is something very contagious. A kind word or act on our part will not only bring happiness and encouragement to others, it will do more. It will inspire others to be kind. In a home, in a family, kindness helps so much. Being constantly thoughtful and considerate of the feelings and needs of one another makes a home the happy and contented place it should be, a place where all are working together in peace and harmony. To be truly kind... We must forget ourselves, have our thoughts on someone else, someone who is the source of kindness, God. And our thoughts are lifted to God by prayer, family prayer. So to bring kindness into your home with all the blessings that flow from it, pray together as a family. Pray together tonight. Remember, the family that prays together stays together. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. Hollywood Family Theater has brought you Vanessa Brown and Richard Denning in Lock and Bar with Regis Toomey as your host. Others in our cast were Dan O'Hurley, Tudor Owen, and Shelley Berman. Sir Walter Scott's classic was adapted by Robert Hecker with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman who was directed for Family Theater by J.F. Mansfield. This series of Family Theater broadcasts is made possible by the thousands of you who felt the need for this type of program, by the mutual network which has responded to this need, and by the hundreds of stars of stage, screen, and radio who have so unselfishly given of their time and talent to appear on our Family Theater stage. To them and to you, our humble thanks. This is Gene Baker expressing the wish of Family Theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home. And inviting you to join us next week at this time when Family Theater will present Alan Young and Mona Freeman in The Lion Tamer. Join us, won't you? Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network, the Mutual Broadcasting System. <laughs>